Okay, well this is a little fun project I'm calling um, Jewel Thief on the Half Shell. And I got these little uh, noise suppression uh, ferrites from uh, Electronic Gold Mine. And they were real cheap, a whole bunch of them for two bucks. And they go around a uh, cable to suppress the uh, background noise that's in your environment, any stray signals. And they're ferrite, and you put them on there and tie them on. And I thought, boy, that might be a fun thing to try a jewel thief and just wrap uh, wrap around that. Rather than a toroid, which is hard to wrap, you just wrap that around there and put them together. And it made a really, really neat jewel thief. And it did a couple of things that I really, really liked. It was a progression project, but um, I have it running now off of one of these little uh, solar panels from one of these little waving solar toys. And why I'm posting this video is the uh, thing has a blink. And I've worked and worked and worked with these little uh, driver units to try to get an LED to blink. And I was unsuccessful and I finally got one to happen. And the way I did it was I made a transformer out of these two split shells here. The jewel tape is really on the bottom and it's my penny oscillator circuit and then it's a step-up transformer that bumps it up uh, to a higher voltage. Then instead of using a bridge rectifier, I used three LEDs. And I tapped off the middle part of the string, and that's the power I needed to run the little uh, waver and still have the blink. And this is the circuit. And I'll see if I can go slow here so you can see it. Um, this is the penny oscillator. If any of you built my penny oscillator circuit, this is what it is has a timing capacitor, a 1 meg ohm a resistor in parallel to an NPN transistor, and then this 100 microfarad um, electrolytic cap, and then a low power source on this side. If you go too high of a power source, it just goes on constant. But if you keep the power down, this goes into a blinking mode and pulses through the Joule Thief circuit. This is a standard Joule Thief um, circuit with 20 turns each of 20 gauge wire. They're separate coils and you hook the end of one to the beginning of the other to go to the plus rail and then the uh, other two, one goes to the base sending and then the other one goes to the collector to uh, drive the circuit. Um, and then here I step it up with a hundred turns on the other half of the shell. So here's the two shells. One shell is the jewel thief. This is the step up part of the transformer. And then off of this, I was using a bridge rectifier. And then I thought, well, I wonder if I could still get a LED to blink and tap off and get power out of the middle of it. And sure enough, it worked. And that's me. This is the 24th of October, heading toward Halloween. And there's the little uh, blinking circuit still driving one of these solar wavers. And that circuit in there is almost identical to what's in the pumpkin man right there. And that's it, folks. And that's uh, a very interesting little uh, situation. Uh, and I'm calling it uh, the uh, Jewel Thief on the Half Shell. Happy Halloween.